Hello folks. This video is all about rudder and aileron mixing. All the planes in my retro fleet require a fair bit of rudder for smooth carving turns, especially the Fokker. The Tiger Moth still needs rudder but not quite as much as the Fokker. And the Hummingbird still needs a little bit of rudder for good turns. You can set up a mix on the radio so that the rudder and ailerons work together just using the aileron stick. But what I'm going to do here is have a continuously variable amount of mix between the rudder and ailerons using the S1 potentiometer. I'll start off by showing how to create a fixed weight mix between the rudder and aileron stick using my trusty Tyrannus and OpenTX. And I'm doing it all on the mixer page. This is how I have my plane set up. I have the ailerons on channels 1 and 2 and I have a little bit of snap flaps mixed in as well to help with inverted flying and that's only when the elevator stick is pushed forward and throttle on 3, elevator on 4 and rudder on 5 so I'm going to add another line to channel 5 and I'll just copy that existing one and edit it first off I'll go down and get rid of the expo, I don't need that and then go up and change the source to the aileron stick. So that now means that the rudder is operated 100% by the rudder stick and 100% by the aileron stick. If we check that on the channels monitor screen you can see the aileron stick operates the ailerons and the rudder. So that's a fixed weight mix but we want a variable mix so we go back and edit that second line on channel 5 and change the weight with a long press of the enter to global variable 1 at the moment global variable 1 doesn't have a value so we need to define global variable 1 and you do that in the special functions page for the switch you select on for always on and for the function you choose adjust global variable and then you select what will adjust the global variable. And initially I'll select the S1 pot just to show you what happens. And finally click the tick to activate the special function. Now the value that the S1 pot outputs is minus 100 to plus 100. So we'll start off with the knob centered. So the value is 0 and you can see that there is no mix between the rudder and aileron stick. We get positive values if you turn the knob to the right from 0 to 100 and that gives us what we want a positive mix between the aileron stick and the rudder but with the knob turned to the left of centre we're getting negative values so we end up with a negative mix with the rudder going the wrong way so if we want to use the full rotation of the S1 pot to adjust the mix from 0 to 100 we need to get a bit tricky and use the S1 pot as the input to a spare channel and the good thing about using a channel is that you can assign a curve which will change the minus 100 to plus 100 input from the pot into a 0 to 100 output and you can use that channel to define the global variable so stick with me it's not as hard as it sounds I'm going to choose channel 10 because that's a spare one and the source will be the S1 pot and we'll change the curve to a custom curve which we'll go and set up For this curve I only need two points, so go down and change it to a two point curve. The first point stays at zero and the second point goes up to 100. And finally we change the special function so that the global variable is adjusted by the output of channel 10. And there it is, a variable amount of rudder mixed in with the aileron stick using the full rotation of the S1 pot.